So that was our Italian banquet. It was a great success. I had a lot of fun making it. It was a great chance for me to do what I love and to enjoy it. But sometimes things didn't go quite to plan. Do I have to show this? Yes, you do. Uh, all right. These are probably the most embarrassing moments of our time doing this project. Okay, I think our um, skewers are just about ready. Woo! That looks interesting. Okay, these are uh, these are really hot. We've got our pumpkin puree that's all ready and now we're going to start on our sauce for our meatballs which is the main course of tonight's banquet. So we've got to wait for the pan to heat up and then we'll just add a, some olive oil and once we put the olive oil in then we'll get the mushroom sauteed and then we'll start making our sauce. Sorry, I mean onions. Our risotto is looking great. It's nearly finished, so we're actually ahead of time at the moment. We've got 15 minutes till our guests arrive. We're pretty much ready. We're just, we're just, we're gonna, bleh. Well, things have been going relatively smoothly so far until we hit the dessert. Everything went relatively smoothly until it was time to form the cannelloni shell. That was real difficult. We think that the reason it didn't work, oh, I've just been looking through these um, cookbooks, the Italian Kitchen, um, an A to Z of ingredients and classic recipes, and the Italian Cooking Class cookbook, which will. Um, kill my <laughs> to coat the onions no. up into the butter. Okay, I didn't get that. Let's try again. Now we just need to coat the onion into the butter. Cut the onion into the butter. How about coat the onion? How about coat the onion with the butter? Okay. Now we just need to coat the butter into the onion. You did it again. Okay. Go. Now we just need to coat the onion with the butter. Nice. Oh, hello, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren just got in the shot then, so let's do it again one more time, Erin. What? <laughs> I didn't know you did say go. Oh, okay. All right. Hang on a sec. And go. Okay. And here is our chill mixture, which will last a good week in the fridge and can be used as needed. This is going to form our, cal our cannelloni. Would you like to start that again? Yeah, what's my line? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to form our can. Okay. You ready? Okay. Cannelloni. That's it, thank you. Okay, you ready? It's like trying to say photosynthesis. You said that perfectly. Photosynthesis. I can't okay. get it right. Here we go. You just said it right. I did. Ready? What, photosynthesis? Yes, you just said it right Sith. again. Okay. okay, here we go. We lost track. We lost track. No! Go and put this on the TV. Hey, do you how many, how much minutes we've got? Like, do a turn the camera on me. Six, five, Four, three, two, one. We're magic! We renamed it. Oh, bubble. Undercooked. Talk. But it's nice though. <laughs> so now we get to eat undercooked chill mixture biscuit. Not basically a biscuit. Undercooked cannelloni. It's nice though. I think I prefer it under um I think I prefer it just cooked because it tastes really nice. I do love cooking. It's one of my passions in life and it's a good pastime. For school, I was given well all of our year basically. We're do given do that a project, again? yes. Okay, hang on.